how to derive the basic trigo identity cos square plus sine square equals 1, 1 plus tangent square equals secant square, and cotangent square plus 1 equals cosecant square A. So we begin by using a right angle triangle. Now let's say you have a right angle triangle with angle A here. Let's say the opposite side, let's call it Y. The adjacent is X and the hypotenuse is R. So from here we know that if I will take cos angle A, it is adjacent over hypotenuse x over r sine angle a is opposite over hypotenuse y over r okay we begin with this then we use basic Pythagoras theorem we know x square plus y square is equals to r square from here if we divide everything by r square you will get x square over r square plus y square over r square and r square over r square which we can put this together as x over r bracket square plus y over r bracket square and r square over r square is just 1. From here, x over r is our cos, we write this as cos square a, y over r is our sine, we write this as sine square a, the result is equal to 1. That's how we got our first formula for the basic identity. So let's call this equation number 1. I'm going to take equation number 1 and divide everybody by cos squared. Now we know cos divided by cos, maybe I write one extra line for you, cos square a divided by cos square a. This is sine square a divided by cos square a. This is 1 over cos square a. Cos square over cos square is 1, sine square over cos square is tangent, tangent square, and 1 divided by cos is secant with the square a here. There you go, you got your second formula for basic identity. Now, if we were to take equation number 1, instead of dividing with cos, we divide with sine, and in this case, sine squared. Let me write down one extra step, cos squared over sine squared, followed by sine squared over sine squared, followed by 1 over sine squared. Now we know that cos over sine is cotangent, let's write this as cotangent squared, sine squared over sine squared is 1, 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared, there you go, we got the Third formula for the basic identities.